I'm Emily Mims, here today to talk to you about my new Smoky Blue series set in the heart of the Appalachian Mountains. I fell in love with Appalachia the first time I visited my son and his family here in 2009. I didn't expect it to be so pretty. I didn't expect it to be so green. I didn't expect the people to be so warm and friendly. I didn't expect the mountains to reach out and grab me around the heart like they did. I have made many trips to Appalachia since, and it continues to be one of my favorite places in the world. So when I finished the Texas Hill Country series and was looking for a place to set my second series of books, Appalachia called my name and said, Here, write him here. And so the Smoky Blue series was born. In Mist, my first book in the Smoky Blue series, my heroine Kylie Richards plays the dulcimer. I play the dulcimer, not as well as she does, but I do play it. I picked up my first dulcimer in Pigeon Forge in the summer of 2012. The builder was demonstrating it. It looked interesting, so I sat down, and with the musical background, it wasn't too hard to make the transition. The mountain dulcimer is the only instrument that was ever developed in the United States. It was built by the people of, Ad of Appalachia to play the lilting tunes and the ballads they brought with them from England and Scotland and Ireland. There are still versions of those of those songs being played today. Today I have standing behind four instruments, all of which are used in a traditional bluegrass band. In fact, the only instrument that's not back here is a bass. The guitar, you know, we use that for just about everything. Um, the other three would be the mandolin, very sweet, very high, high sound, in the hands of a master. A mandolin is absolutely the most beautiful instrument you ever heard. Of course, everybody knows what a fiddle is. Um, incredible fiddling in this part of the country. Kids are brought up on the, on the fiddle. And the claw hammered banjo, another instrument that in the right hands is absolute magic. Bristol bills itself as the birthplace of country music. In 1927, Ralph Peer, a New York recording mogul, brought the latest recording equipment to Bristol and mountain singers and musicians flocked in. For two and a half weeks, they made their music for him, and it was immortalized by Victor Records. No less than the Carter family and Jimmy Rogers got their starts here in Bristol that summer. So I chose Bristol as the place where they would have their club. As beautiful as Appalachia is, and as wonderful as it is, it's not immune to the problems of the world, including the problem of drugs. In Mist, the first book in the Smoky Blue series, we meet widow Kylie Richards, struggling to keep her club afloat after her husband left her penniless. Unbeknownst to her, she has earned the attention of the DEA. Drugs are being sold out of her club, and she has money coming into a secret offshore account. So at the request of his friend DEA agent Sawyer Ellison, Reynolds Navarro goes in undercover as a musician to identify the drug dealer, presumably Kylie. He passes himself off as a local, he makes music with Kylie, and Kylie never dreams for a minute that he isn't who he presents himself to be. Of course, they fall in love. But it's not that easy. Is Kylie dealing drugs? If not, then who is? Where is Kylie getting the money? And will Kylie ever forgive Wren when she learns of his deception? The answers are in mist. <laughs> ¶¶